outright deleting a class just seems insane, doesn't it? Wouldn't it heavily throw off game balance, changing how everything works? I wanted to see how bad of an idea it really is, so I banned Sniper and played TF2 for 3 days straight to see what actually happens. We played each of these maps before and after banning Sniper 3 times, and there was hardly a difference. The only real difference from banning Sniper was the game centralizing more around the main team fights. The most visibly obvious example of this is Upward Last. Players normally strongly avoid this main entryway, since standing here as either a red or blue player is a very bad idea. With Sniper banned, activity along the flanks went down and players actually used the main door making it become an intense struggle for red to maintain control, and for blue to break through. This is a heat map on where players died with Sniper allowed. Compared with Sniper banned, there's more red areas, and they're further in on the main entryway. This is another set of upward, which shows the way bigger focus on this door. Along this trend, on upward second, there's four hotspots here which disappear after Sniper is gone, and consolidate into one conflict here. On Bad Water's last two points, deaths are less scattered and more focused around a central area. Swift Water's last three points, same story, the deaths more closely follow the path's track. And same again with Harvest, Deaths converge much denser around the point. But this really appears to be the only real difference. I collected data on the 96 rounds we played and averaged together 5 stats. Across all rounds with Sniper, what was a class's average kills, deaths, and damage per minute, average time played in a round as a percentage, and their average kill distance, then compared it against the same stats but for the rounds where Sniper was banned, and there is basically no difference. The biggest change with Sniper banned was Heavy and Soldier getting played 5% more than before. The rest of the stats are incredibly inconsequential. Heavy got 0.13 more kills per minute on average. Everyone else has a change that starts with 0.0. .0. Same story for deaths where the most that happened was a 0.12 reduction in deaths on average for Soldier. Change in average damage done is small, and average kill distances increased by insignificant amounts. The highest change was Pyro, getting kills 50 units farther, which is this much. For class composition, I looked at how often a given class would appear in the set of 12 classes a team would have. On average, this is how many more of a certain class you would see. At most, on blue, there would be 0.8 more spies on average, and 0.585 more heavies on red. The change in class composition with sniper band is not entirely insignificant, but still small. Before the experiment, I got viewers to submit their predictions, and heavy stacking was somewhat commonly expected to be a problem. In the end, the heavy uprising failed seemingly because demos, soldiers, and corners existing continue to keep him in check. Heavy stacking on the card also seems to be just good at snowballing momentum, but once the card gets cleared once, it's generally hard for them to get the card snowballing again. If you heavy stack and add the short circuit, it does become hard to counter. But this strategy is still hard to counter even with Sniper available. So it seems more a problem with the short circuit and the cart than anything particularly about Sniper. So from this limited test, Sniper disappearing appears to not really have much of an impact on the rest of the game. Player sentiment echoed this as well. From 70 responses after the experiment, 
the popular sentiment was that the game didn't really change. It just felt somewhat less frustrating. Players said they enjoyed not having to constantly worry about being exposed or standing around in an open area for too long. And bonus stat, the distribution of average kill distance. From the 48 rounds with Sniper we played, Spy averages a kill distance of 161 units. Scout is at 309, Pyro 332, Soldier 400, Demo 438, Heavy 449, Engineer 626, and Sniper 1429. For reference, the Two Fort Bridge is about 939 units long. This is someone 300 and 500 units away from you. And this is the sniper. He's pretty far. We've 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 been defeated.